Hey, this is Steve Toth from seonotebook.com where I share my weekly strategy tips over email to over 8,000 subscribers. So if you're not on the list and you want tips like this each week, just head over and subscribe for free. Okay, so today's tip is going to revolve around template keywords, one of my favorite types of keywords to optimize for. Why? Because template keywords are extremely high volume. Templates often take a functionality out of a SaaS tool, make it freely available, and you know people will um, you know use it, and then a number of people will also convert uh, and become paying customers. So it's a really nice thing that way, and um, they provide utility to people, right? So they often get links because they're useful. And um, there's such high volume that like, a f you know, fractional those people are going to convert too. So my tip today is around researching um, uh, keywords that, um, t you know, people search for that involve templates. And I'm doing it in a, in a kind of a, um, a unique way. Um, so you may wonder why I have a bunch of URLs from Smashing Magazine here, right? So I'm, what I'm looking at are like their category names. Categories are something that sites have to think carefully about. It's their grouping, um, you know, sets of articles together to accurately describe what these articles are. So in a way, they're synthesizing a lot of, um, you know, information into one word. And um, what I've discovered this week, actually just doing this for a client, is that this can be a great starting point for discovering template keywords. So what I did uh, was crawled um, the category subfolder in Smashing Magazine. And if you wanna do that yourself in Screaming Frog, go to configuration, include, and then include the subfolder with this period and this asterisk, and that'll get you all the categories. If you don't have, um, Screaming Frog, you could do a site search for um, smashingmagazine.com slash category, use SEO Minion to grab all the organic URLs and then do that for all the different uh, pages. Then um, dump those into a spreadsheet. Now from this point, I want to um, just isolate uh, the actual uh, slug and what that thing is. So um, no, I want to get rid of this category um, part of the URL. So I'm just going to go to find and replace. Um, I'm going to replace this with nothing. Um, now I'm going to take the slashes and I'm just going to replace that with nothing. Really easy. Nothing fancy. And um, put a dash and replace that with a space. So now I'm going to get um, all the categories just by themselves, um, you know, as regular words. So now the next step here is I want to add some, uh, I want to concatenate this. So I'm just going to um, type in concatenate and I'm going to merge this with the word template. Um, so to do that, I just select that cell, um, type in space, template, close bracket, going to autofill those for me. And now I'm going to have all these keywords um, with the word template attached. So now from this point, I want to select all of these and head over to keywords everywhere. I'm going to go to bulk keywords and I'm going to paste this in this box and let's see what we get. going a little slow, but okay. Look at this, all this high search volume, React template, CSS template, UI template. Imagine I had a blog and I was selling a course or I wanted newsletter subscribers and I wanna drive a lot of relevant traffic to my website. Look at all these great keywords that we find, right? Photoshop template, sketch template, illustrator template, design patterns template, um, tons of different stuff. So I'm going to now copy this and I'm going to bring it back to my sheet and I'm going to paste it in. And let's paste that. I'm going to hide these two rows now. I don't really need them. 
And what I want to do now is filter all the ones out with zero search volume because there are going to be some of those. Not to say that, you know, that might not still have traffic, but I'm just going to do it for the purpose of this. And, um, you know, now it's kind of up to you to, to look at all these keywords and say, which are the ones that are going to make sense for me? Now, some of them are going to be general, but some of them are going to be really great. Um, and the cool thing about template keywords is that you can verticalize these. And what do I mean by that? Like, let's say you had, um, I know website design template, um, web design, uh, it's right here. Apparently I can't type. Um, so web design template, for example, web, web design temp, you could have this as not, um, not being something that they download, but maybe like a collection of web design templates or, um, you know, this might be a competitive one too, but let, let's be honest. But um, just for the illustration of, uh, of verticalization, you could have, you know, law firm website design, design template, dentist is a web design template, um, you know, uh, plastic surgeon website design template. You could have a lot of different industries um, attached to some of these keywords. So basically my point being is, don't stop where um, you see these keywords and they'll be the only ones. Um, you you might want to you know type these into Google Suggest, put these into Ahrefs or SEMrush, um, and uh, see what other keywords um, you can cluster around them. So all told, um, we get uh, 94 um, potential keywords um, without any long tail variations on these, just from combining the categories from Smashing Magazine with the word template. So really, you know, go through these and pick the ones that you think make sense for you and then see if you can expand on them. And you can see like, let's see the, the combined search volume. Uh, for all of these keywords is uh, 430,000. So that is not too shabby. Um, you get a lot of traffic if you create all of these. Uh, I'm not saying you should do every last one of them, but it's just to illustrate a point. So that's the tip. Go grab a popular blog, grab their categories, a pen template, look at the search volume, decide what kind of pages you can create. They're gonna be super valuable pages because you're offering you know, a resource to people. That's gonna be a great source of links for you and you know, it's gonna be relevant to what you do. So if you want more tips like this, head over to seonotebook.com and subscribe, it's totally free. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video or the next email. All right, thanks.